Hello guys, welcome to binaryhackers.com. In this video, I am going to discuss about the key logging method in Backtrack. For this video demonstration, I am going to use a key scan uh, tool in the Metapeter session to show you how to use the key scan start, stop and dump the keystroke of the victim machine. Okay, so this is my attacker machine. So Backtrack Fire 3. So I'm using attacker machine backtrack 5 if you want you can also use a Kali Linux machine use your favorite OS it doesn't matter and the victim OS is Windows 7 this is the IP address of Windows 7 machine 10.1.1.10 and the attacker machine IP address is 1.20 so both machine are in LAN connected to the switch so I open the Metropeter session so I run the Java JMX remote code execution. If you don't know how to use that exploit to gain the metapreter access, go to my website hacking backtrack and use any one of this exploit. This one the Java JMX code, the cool PDF reader exploit, just draw buffer overflow exploit. So use any exploit, it doesn't matter. So uh, for this video demonstration, I'm using this exploit to gain the metapeter access. So I have one metapeter session open. So let's interact with that metapeter session. Session ID is two. Okay. Now type ps, and we need to migrate on the explorer.exe process. So first let's check the PID of that process. This is the explorer.exe process and this is the process ID 1344. So let's quickly migrate on that process. Okay, the migration is completed successfully. Now I'm going to run the key scan. Key scan start. So key scan is start on the victim machine starting the keystroke sniffer. So this is a Windows 7 machine. Suppose the Windows 7 user is accessing a Gmail and it's open the gmail.com uh, website. And if I type a username, I'm going to type a fake username and password. And suppose if they type a real username, so the key scan, the sniffer. Uh, scan this keystroke and display on your metapeter session let's see one example for this example I'm type one fake email ID like Raul sound at the rate gmail.com and after that I'm type a password suppose one two three four a b c d sign in this is a fake ID, so it's not login. But in backtrack machine, if I type key scan dump, uh, it show me that the IP address, oh sorry, show me that the email ID and the password. So this is my password. It is one two three four a b c d, and this is my email ID. Let do another example. Suppose if I type a different IP address email id like all 001 suppose this is my username and password is a b c d 1 2 3 4 and again let's go and use a ski scan dump this is Raul. this is number 0 0 1 so it's num block key so it display like this 001 and this is a password ABCD so whatever you type on the victim machine remember that I'm using a mic migrate that process on the explorer.exe so whatever done on the explorer.exe it will directly scan that keystroke and display on the metapeta session suppose I open the notepad and I type hi my name is Rahul and if I go to the backtrack and again type key scan dumb, it will display that message. Hi, my name is Rahul. So this is the use of 
key scan sniffer it dumping the captures key stock and display on your screen meta video screen okay suppose if you want to uh, know that the windows log on credential for example i am the current process is uh, first stop the key scan stop so it will stop the key stroke sniffer so the current process running is explorer.exe for the meta beta session and if i log off or log this window and uh, use a key scan term and type a password on the victim machine so it will not display that password on here because this uh, log screen or log off uh, windows is work on the win logon dot exe process let's see one example let start the key scan again key scan start and remember uh, i'm using a explorer dot exe okay it's migrate on explorer dot exe i'm going to log this pc now it's log and if i type password right here press enter okay it's logging successfully but if i use key scan dump it not showing the password because this login process is working on the win logon.exe so we need to find the win logon.exe first so go type of ps and let find the win logon.exe process right here is a win logon.exe system process and this is the process id so let's migrate on that process id 416 and press enter so it will migrate from explorer.exe to win logon.exe the migration is completed now type key scan start okay now go to the victim machine and log this computer now it's asking for password and i'm going to enter password it is apple 123 press enter it's login and now use a key scan dump and if i press enter now it will show me that the apple 123 password see right here so apple 123 so the uh, login credential if you want to scan the login credential of your victim machine you need to go or migrate on the win logon.exe process so this is the use of key scan dump key scan start so in this video you learn that how to start the key scan how to dump the key scan and how to stop the key scan it is a keystroke sniffer in the backtrack so this is how to use a key scan tool it's a sniffer keystroke tool in the backtrack meta session so thanks for watching see you in the next video